Hi everybody, Edward Hayden here, a culinary lecturer from the School of Humanities. Hopefully I find you all well at this time of uncertainty in terms of both the national and global pandemic. Today is of course uh, Employee Wellbeing Day in WIT and Roshan and the committee have asked me to come on to give you a few recipes to hopefully uh, arouse both your culinary mind and palate at this time when lots of people are cooking at home whilst staying at home and working at home. So with this in mind, I'm gonna do three recipes for you today. I'm going to do a gorgeous barbecued trout salad for starter. I'm then going to do a beautiful uh, pasta dish. So I'm going to do chicken and some smoked bacon pasta as a kind of a convivial dining sort. And then I'm going to do a gorgeous chocolate and orange tray bake for you. So that's what I have lined up. Now I'm going to start with the most simple one which is actually the salad and this is just kind of a uh, an assembly job if you like just to get it all looking uh, really quite nice. So I'm going to start with the dressing. This is a very simple dressing. I'm going to do a kind of a lemon and chilli dressing uh, with this. So here what I've got is I've just got some lemon. A little tip that I tend to do for both sweet and savoury is just give the lemon a kind of a little roll. Okay just like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the juice of about half a lemon into a glass here. To that, I'm just going to combine two tablespoons of oil. Now I'm using a lovely rapeseed oil, which is very, very popular. This is the Kilkenny based rapeseed oil. And also I'm going to use a few dried or crushed chili flakes as well. So that's just going to really nice tangy dressing. Now I would use that for lots of things, maybe some salads, so maybe some lovely vegetables, maybe once you had cooked Think of maybe some tender stem broccoli or some lovely asparagus or something to just toss them with this or even a little bit of um, some baby potatoes as well rather than kind of mounting them with butter that's just a nice little dressing for you now then as i said it's just an assembly job so i have just a really nice large platter and on that i've just got a mixture of lettuces so i've used a little bit of iceberg i've used some spinach some chard got a bit of rock and a bit of lamb's lettuce in there as well. And I'm just going to build a really nice salad. So this can be built with whatever ingredients that you'd like. So I'm just using a selection of bits and pieces here. I've got a carrot and using a vegetable peeler, I'm just going to peel some ribbons of carrot onto that salad and just have them kind of looking as if they're just after landing. Okay, so a little bit of the carrot. And if you wanted you could put some courgette ribbons on this as well and that would work really, really nicely. Okay, so pop all of those on. Your favourite salad ingredients would be ideal. Sometimes a little bit of white or red cabbage shredded very finely or even pickled on that would be gorgeous as well. Okay, so that's basically that. Give that a light little mix up around just to kind of toss it over a little bit. Then what I've got here is I've just got a little bit of onion. So I have two types of onion. I have a little bit of very uh, finely shredded uh, red onion. Again, you can see that I have done, as we would always advise our students in the culinary uh, sector to do, have all of their mise en place of the preparatory work done. So that's all ready to do. And I would always do that at home as well, just for convenience. Now, so that's our red onion on there. Then I've got a little bit of scallion or some spring onion. So I'm gonna pop that on there as well, just like so. I've got some gorgeous cherry tomatoes. So these are little baby plum tomatoes. They're really nice and ripe, but also quite sweet as well. So I'm just going to pop those on the salad as well and then an ingredient that i like quite a lot it's not everybody's fancy but i'm going to put that on as well is a little bit of diced cucumber so i've just got some little chunks of cucumber which i'm just going to put on there as well okay just like so now so that's almost that then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put on some gloves and what i've got here is i've got some barbecued trout and this of course is very local to us here at home as well in great Manor. this is goat's bridge trout from just over the road in Thomastown. This is their barbecued trout. You could use some smoked salmon, you could use some hot or cold uh, shredded chicken or some ham or some spears of parma ham as well would be lovely uh, in there as well. And literally, I'm just going to flake that off just like so. And I'm literally just going to pop that onto our platter just like so. Just do some nice chunks of that. It's really gorgeous, lovely with creme fraiche, maybe shoved into a kind of like a bagel or a pit of bread as well. So that's basically that. And just make it kind of look nice and attractive, a little bit of skin, just like so. Now, finally then, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take um, some of the dressing. And I'm also going to just put one or two final ingredients. I'm just going to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top, a couple of ribbons of the parmesan cheese there just on the top of that 
I'm also going to put a few nuts. Now I've just got some pine nuts there, but you can put whatever type uh, that you'd like. So I'm just going to put them on toasted, uh, but you could toast them up if you wanted, just to get those nice and uh, intensified in flavor. And that can happen by the toasting process. Pop those on, and then I've just had a few little bits of flat leaf parsley here, which is really, really nice. And I'm just going to put a few little bits of that parsley on there. And then finally, at the last second, I'm just going to kind of re up my dressing here again. And using a spoon only at the point of service. So just when you're ready to serve this, I'm going to pour my lovely dressing over the top of that as well. Okay, so that's a really, really delicious dressing. But as I said, just put it on as you're ready to serve it and it'll just begin to soak down. That lovely tanginess of the lemon will work really nicely with the uh, fish. And then I always find the chilli just gives it a really little nice kick, which is nice and uh, flavoursome as well. So that's basically our first course. That is our lovely uh, barbecued trout salad. Um, in the next video, I'm going to do a lovely chicken and bacon pasta. So again, as part of our WIT Employee Wellbeing Day, we all need to stay safe, stay well together. And uh, thanks very much for joining me here in my home kitchen in Greg Manana.